Back with another episode of The Long Shot. Big thanks to EA Sports for allowing me to capture this footage for you guys. If you have been enjoying this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. We've heard what Carlos has to say about the merger. Unfortunately, without Hank here to represent the team, Rest in peace, Hank. So not only does Coach Hank pass away, but they're trying to take this football team away. But I will open up the floor. This town needs the Bullfrogs. This town needs Mathis High School football. It's the fabric of this town. <laughs> I could tie every single person in this room to the benefits of Mathis football. Not to mention the town itself. I mean, we did win state in 2012, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> that was with Hank at the helm. And as much as I hate to say it, this merger is gonna... Oh, hold on now. Just hold on a second. Now, I know I'm no Hank. But I do believe I know what he would say if he were here. He would say what he told us in the locker room every single day. Football is family. And without football, we're no longer a family. Yes, Colt. Mathis football is family. But if there's no Mathis, then where does the family go? As a boy in Nejapa de Madero, Mexico, I watched the logging industry dissolve before my eyes, forcing everyone to leave. I can't let that happen to this town that I love, that I call home. So, we merge, we get a stadium deal, I hire half of Mathis to build it, and next thing you know, Mathis is buzzing again. With all due respect, Pops, this ain't Mexico, and you're in it for the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, mijo, that money is how I acquired 90% of the businesses in this town. And if we continue on the same path, it won't be only the football team that is forced to leave. Is that a threat to the home you say you love so much? Order, yeah, order. You can't shut us up. Come on now. So well, now. either way, we still don't have a coach. Colt will be our coach. You should do this. I mean, I could be gone in any minute. Give me a second. Are you kidding me right now? Look, my dad knows without Hank, he's got the boat. The only person he's afraid of in here is you. Look, Geese, I can't do it. Okay, I'm a player. I'm not a coach. What are you quit lying to yourself? No one is calling. Hey, I'm done fooling with you. There's bigger things at stake here than you riding the bench on some NFL team. Yeah, well, at least I'm trying, Geese. What exactly are you doing here? I'm here standing up to my father. I'm here standing up for Bullfrogs football. <laughs> okay. One game at a time. Yeah. Yeah. But you're with me every step of the way. And if the NFL comes calling, you're taking over. Is that a deal? Deal. I knew it. I knew he was going to become the coach. Let's do it. Let's do it. Colts in. A coach and no money. The state of Texas will give a million towards a joint stadium. Gabriel, what can you offer? We don't need a million dollars for math this, Carlos. 500,000. I can raise half that. We'll crowdsource it. I'll help. And if we went out, you put up the hundred, two hundred fifty thousand dollars $250,000. Mi hijo, por favor. Come on. This isn't a movie. It's not make-believe. Winning doesn't make money fall from the sky. I'm standing right here facing the facts. Yes, you are. Okay. I'll make you a deal. If this team makes the playoffs and the city raises 
I'll match it on one condition. Name it. If the money is raised and this team wins out at the time I hand out the check, Colt must commit to Mathis football by signing a three-year contract. Colt? Yes or no? Everyone's waiting for you. Okay. I'll do it. So not only do we have to win out, but we also have to raise $250,000 in order for this team to stay here in Mathis. You know you're better at this than I am? <laughs> nice try. <laughs> hey, boys, come on, bring it in. Come on, on double, on double, let's go. All right, take a knee. <coughs> Everyone. Now, I know a lot of the talk lately has been, you better win or else. That's not true. What you need to do is focus. Focus on playing hard and playing smart. That's it. I say you're driving across country. Now you ain't gonna do 3,000 miles in a minute. You gotta drive within the headlights. Not worry about what's in front of you. And the next thing you know, you're gonna find success. Cause the next thing you know, you're gonna be in California. Drive within the headlights. You know what? I like that. I like that a lot. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me hear focus on three. Go home and get some rest. One, two, three. Focus. focus. Go home and get some rest. No, no just focus. Go home. Shoot over. Let me do this. Oh. You can add photos? Yes. This whole time? This whole time. Look it. Drag and drop. We're gonna save Mathis. Sure are. Let's drive within those headlights. That's right. Colt is gonna call the same plays Hank always has? Ah, of course he is, Cal. I love Colt, but he's not the brightest kid. He's not the brightest bulb in the bucket. You know, we should be saying, seeing plenty of fullback dives, quarterback draws, maybe a halfback toss in there. I mean, it ain't gonna get crazy. You're not gonna see those razzle-dazzle plays you see in the NFL. All right, first and 10. You guys see, man, the team is going through a financial problem. They're trying to sell it, move out into a new stadium. But the community, they're not with it. They want Mathis football here to stay. They don't want this team to go anywhere. And in order for that to happen, not only do we have to win out the season, like I said, but we have to raise $250,000. Good guy, man. Oh, that is just what we needed. Oh, oh. Now, I'm a little scared those plays coach called. But maybe a little excited too, Cap. If I'm being honest. I have both things going on in me right now. Buckle up, Rhino. Ooh. Final drive here down 40 to 35 in a burn burn. Our offense is smoking, Cal. Come on now, we got this. Like I said, in order for this team to stay here in Mathis, we need to win out the regular season. As you guys see right here, in the fourth quarter, the score is 40 to 35. Right here, we're going to hand the ball up first of all. Did you guys see that hurdle? Oh, I tell you, Cal, this win just became real, real important. Cal, we're we're gonna have to win the next two now. I right, take it one game at a time, Randy. No, like this. Uh, I'm trying. Here. Mm. 
please, please, please donate if you can. It'll feel good. Buns. Come on, it will. Donate. So we do have to win out the next two games, and this game here that we're about to play, it's against the top defense. Alright. <clears throat> Alright folks, Mathis comes back out and well, wait a dang minute here. Wendell Chase is back at quarterback. What in tarnation? Dylan must be hurt. Man! Cal, this is so good to see them spread the ball around like this. Get Bob involved with the prior, Kate Parks. And he hops plumb over him. See anything weird, Randy? He'll throw. Here's Wendell Here on the scramble. Touchdown! Touchdown, Bullfrogs! <laughs> I knew it! Wendell Chase comes through in a big way on the road, Randy. He sure did. Uh, you gotta give credit to Coach Cruz for switching up the game plan on him. Great job, Stop. Bullfrog. Keep the end zone here, and we win this game. You want me a quarter again? I have to. I need you out there. I want you on 88 all the time. Coach, he's all district. He's like six inches taller than you. I don't care if he shoots lasers out of his butt. You ain't no football dummy. Stay on it. Now let's go out there and let's bring this game home. Let's do it. I believe in you guys. Go! Let's go! Let's go, boys! One final drive for the Rancho Banchetti Rattlers. We hold them here and we come away with the win. You guys heard him, man. All we need is one stop right here. We're in the fourth quarter and the first play in this possession. We do get a sack as the score is 7 to 13. On third and 22, they drop back and it's an incomplete pass. Had it, but it is dropped. That was one heck of a stand by the Bullfrogs defense. Man, Cal, they look like the 85 Bears. Man, oh man. So the streak continues, but next week's is crucial. And it's against Beeville. Oh, no. If you pledge $100, you will receive two tickets to the Bullfrogs' final home game and a jar of Lanny Munz's homemade barbecue sauce. Oh, man. Lanny. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> you got to try this. Come here. Uh. <laughs> man, this dude is an absolute hater. Like, you could just tell. He wants Matthew's football out of here. So far, they raised 26,000 out of the 250K. Hello. Yeah, sure, I can do that. See you then. <laughs> Would you like some lemonade? Uh. I had the lemons flown in from Argentina. Easier now with the band lifted. <laughs> sure. Oh, please. So why did you call me here? <laughs> right to business. <laughs> A man after my own heart. Well, first, I want to congratulate you on your success. Well, we are three and four now. One went away from fending off that merger, so. That's great. That's great. So, the money's raised? Um, not yet. Still got a little ways to go. But we're winning. And the town has given every penny they can, so I'm confident. Oh, nice. So, you're ready to sign the contract? <laughs> no, that is a cross that bridge when we get to it situation. Right now, I'm just focused on Beeville. Oh. And they're seven to one. So there are no guarantees there. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Which brings me to the reason I wanted to meet. I wonder 
what it is that Colt Cruz wants. <laughs> Colt Cruz wants to beat Beville, raise a ton of money, fend off that merger, and then the world is my oyster. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, with your best friend in the NFL, I can't help but wonder, shouldn't Cold Cruz be there too? The NFL? <sighs> yeah. But, uh... Have you heard you know. of, um, Jerry Jones? Owner of the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, I've heard of Jerry Jones, <laughs> Mr. Guzman. Yeah. Well, as a Texas builder, you can imagine I have some connections to him. I'd be very happy to make a call. I get what you're saying. I should follow my dreams. Exactly. So I'll be out of your way. No, Colt. I'm saying follow your dreams so we'll thrive. <laughs> See, this winning has been fun. But it creates distraction, not industry. You don't think I see it, but I know exactly who you are. Taking down portraits of all the bullfrog greats, taking down portraits of Hank. Oh, Colt, times change. You're not gonna erase the past. No, but you can look to the future. <laughs> that lemonade sucks. <laughs> With Watson out and Jones shaken up, it appears that we are going to see the NFL debut of rookie Devin Wade. Absolutely unbelievable, partner, because two months ago, we saw Devin Wade play, and we thought he might be cut. <laughs> this is officially Devin Wade's debut. It comes in week number 10 with the Texans. Obviously, if you guys watched the previous episodes, which I highly suggest you do, the full playlist is down in the description. Devin Wade did get picked up by the Texans, and they also have Antonio Brown on the team. Yes, the Texans did trade for Antonio Brown in the story mode. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Devin Wade runs it in. Touchdown. Hey, welcome to the NFL, Devin Wade. What a start. First drive, and it ends in the end zone. Yeah, how about that? No one expected that to happen, let alone Devin Wade. Look, he didn't get any reps in practice, right? You're not working with the first-team offense. You're coming off the bench cold against a hostile opponent. And somehow you end up in the end zone for a touchdown. We're going to go ahead and move forward. The score now is 31-24. to And we are taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Now look, since they cut your boy Devin Wade, this is like a personal game for him. He has to come out here and try to win this one. As he breaks two tackles, he's going to get brought down here. And it is now third and seven. Devin Wade drops back. A blitz is on the way. And I didn't even see it. Taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Offense struggled on that drive. Opportunity miss for Devin Wade in Houston as Dallas continues to lead 24-17. I'm not sure they were prepared for this. Devin definitely forced things and struggled, as you noted. But I also wasn't too crazy about the play calling that they gave him as well. Didn't feel like it accentuated what he does best. Look at this. The score is now 38-34. to The Cowboys have a lead. And now Devin Wade is going to try to bring the Texans back. He gets a big-time catch right there by Antonio Brown. Moving forward, they're going to be just short of a first down, second and one. On the way. On the first down completion. Charles Bill Cower back as a head coach. Such an interesting storyline. In your opinion, how has he done with that interim tag? You feel the experience, and you can also tell the enthusiasm is back. All coaches miss the game. And he's back now. Honestly, I really wish like they had the time on the scoreboard. Like you can't really tell what's going on, but we are obviously in the final possession of the game as Devil Way takes off. Hurdles! Over defender, yo, how crispy was that? The hurdles look so much better this year. That was insane. Here we go. First and goal. Devin Wade finds a wide open man. Lamar Miller wins the game for us. I'm impressed, and I'll be honest, a little bit shocked. The Texans find a way to win, and they do it behind the arm of third-string quarterback Devin Wade. 